It's sports frenzy. <laughs> Season 6, everybody. Episode 15 of the Recap Show. And the champ is here! That's right. Not just the champ this week. Total dominance over Jamie Rose. And this, this particular week of games was not good to Brother Rose at nope. all. Nope. I was totally flabbergasted and shocked that I whooped on you this badly. And, you know, I was trying to go with – it wasn't like I was going crazy and being like, oh, this team is going to be a wild card. Going crazy. My games were, like, just to make it interesting this week. I will admit that. Some of those games I was questionable on and I picked for wins. But I did it just to mix it up a little bit to give you a fighting chance. This is not your season. This I'm going to not. I don't, have I ever had a season? Be, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't. <laughs> you have not. We, we figured out. We were talking about this before. You have not had the title upright at all this season. No. This is ridiculous. Out of 15 episodes now, I have not won it outright. <laughs> this was a great, great week of sports for Coach Cole. And, uh, yes, my, my buddy Josh there from the Hillsdale classroom, he, uh, he sent me a message um, Friday before I left work that said there's no way Onstead's going to beat Hillsdale. Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Hillsdale friends. When you got a future Wolverine on the team, what can you say? That brings winning to your ways. Yep. All right, guys. Well, we like to not draw out our uh, recap show, so we will get into our uh, recap for you guys. Um, NLL, Lacro NLL Lacrosse is our first games we did this week, and it's cool to see lacrosse back. However, I did not get an opportunity to watch any of these games. <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, our first game has the Georgia Swarm beating the Toronto Rock 12-7. to Before we move on here, I, fo I found out another team moved. Oh, really? Who? The Rush. Weren't they oh, the, you're kidding me. Weren't they the Chicago Rush? I believe they were, yes. Who are they now? The Saskatchewan Rush. They moved to Canada? Yes. Because I, I just started working on the sheets for next week, 
And I was going through NL Lacrosse, and I'm like, oh, Saskatchewan. I'm like, who the heck are the Saskatchewans? And they're the Rush. Wow, we're going to have to research that and have some data for you on... Uh, I'm, I'm, my gut feeling is it's probably the same thing as the Swarm. Probably their yeah. lease ran up, and so instead of trying to renew a lease, they just said, you know what, let's move here. Well, we'll look it up for you guys and have details on that for you on the uh, next Picks edition. Yep. Uh, moving on here, though, we have uh, a squeaker game. Not my squeaker game of the week, though. We have Not the squeaker game of the week, but... Yeah. The Buffalo None Bandits thing. squeak by the Calgary Roughnecks. Ten to nine. The Colorado Mammoth, from what I was reading, battled back to beat the Rochester Nighthawks 16 to 14. Moving into some boys... High school basketball. We have Chelsea over Adrian, fifty-one to thirty-seven. Columbia Central beats Blissfield, fifty-eight to forty-nine. That has, that has to be an upset right there. Oh, it's at home too. Blissfield was home. Oh wow. Yep. Oh, oh boy. Oh, ooh. It's a three. That's three. That's three. Point bonus game. That's three. It's three. It's three. It's three point bonus game. Yeah. So I was getting into the groove there. I had that good twainy thing going again. And... That's, cool. That's all good. <laughs> uh, your three point. Your first three point bonus game has uh, Onstead. Uh, this is a squeaker game here too. I think. Do we count that as a squeaker? Yeah, that's a fairly close score right there. I'll say Onted squeaks by Hillsdale, 66 to 62. That's something we have to talk about before I start picking basketball. What is considered a squeaker? A relatively close score, again, I would say. Like five points? Um, I Let's see. It. Baskets are... Two to three points. Two points to three points apiece. If we do, a, let's do a, we can do a three basket spread, say, we'll say, so two, six, within six points. Six points, okay. All right. Yeah, cool. Congratulations. This is the games that helped me win the title. <sighs> Did you give the score on that one already, or were you just uh, talking about squeaker game? <laughs> Onstead won 66 to 62 against Hillsdale. Now, mine is an old school spinner belt, so it doesn't spin nearly as well as Jamie's does. <laughs> we should just, I should just give you mine since I'm not on. You, nobody can see my belt. Not getting mad. There's nobody who can see it anyway because I never win it. <laughs> um, our final men's basketball game, or boys' basketball game of the week, is uh, has Ypsilanti Lincoln getting a victory over um, Decumsey, 59 to 40. Uh, also, Madison, another point that helped him win the title belt this week. Madison defeats Morency, fifty-nine to twenty-eight. Ooh, that was a do not domination game by Madison. That's right. Um, next we have Chelsea getting a wow, a huge win. Over the Adrian girls, 73-26. to 26. Ouch. Uh, Clinton defeats uh, Whitmore Lake, 67-30. to 30. St. Creek girls getting a win over Summerfield, 52-18. to 18. Moving into some NCAA men's basketball, we have Michigan State over Penn State, 92 to 65. Um, your next men's basketball game, we have um, Baylor getting a win over 13th ranked Iowa State, 94 to 89. We'll have the new rankings for you this week too at some point. The uh, what was your squeaker game of the week? Or you're not your squeaker, but your upset special. The St. Louis Blues over the LA Kings. Oh, okay. What you got? <laughs> yes, I did. And moving in, uh, we've got some women's NCAA basketball. Arizona State over Washington, 68 
to 61. Another game. Oh, that wouldn't. No, that's one. I didn't get this one. <laughs> so this game doesn't count for me. Um, we got Oregon State over Oregon, 60 to 33. This was a game that Rose and I went differently on as well. I actually got a point on this one. It's a miracle. You did the point. We have NHL hockey for you. The Boston Bruins defeat the New Jersey Devils four to one. Three points. Three points. Three point bonus game. I lost my glasses on that one. <laughs> He's headbanging hardcore over there. That's right. And for good reason. This is another reason I have the title. <laughs> the champ is here with the big three-point St. Louis Blues, baby. I got the blues. Oh, yeah, my blues won me this game. I got this win -na -na -na, over Jamie Rose. -na -na -na. So because I really Jamie should. Jamie Rose dun, 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 cannot win any games. Dun, 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 dun. So I really shouldn't dun, 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 have the blues right now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the St. Louis Blues get a huge win over the LA Kings in a shootout, two to one. That could also be considered a squeaker. Game. Could be, yes. We got a little bit of both. Uh, All right. Ooh, where's the... Uh... Want to roll the... Uh... What the... What was that? There's an air horn. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was feedback. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, what do we got here? We got the Detroit Basketball Pistons getting a huge win over the Brooklyn Nets, 103 to 89. The Atlanta Hawks defeat uh, the Chicago Bulls, 120 to 105. You get this one, Rose. It's all you. Oh, and I got my squeaker game of the week. Uh, the Seattle Hawk Seahawks squeak by the Minnesota Vikings 10 to 9. <laughs> I just thought of something, you know? We should put a duck on one of your titles for when you get your squeaker game of the week so you can hold a title. Because that's the only title I could probably win. If you get if you get your squeaker game of the week, you get to hold the title as well. We'll get a duck picture and put it on there for yeah, your squeaker. I can go on my world heavyweight title belt right there. <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. I like that idea. If you get your squeaker game of the week, you get to hold a title for the squeaker game of the week. Yeah, I like it. We'll do that. I'll, I'll print off a squeaker or a duck or something. And even though we don't get to see Jamie anymore. If he wins his squeaker game of the week, we'll take just like a picture and put it on the Sports Frenzy page for everybody to see. <laughs> uh, let's see what uh, do we got any quick news before we sign off for the night? That's what I was quick looking up here for you guys. See if we have anything. Worthy. I know the Lions made some more moves. They got somebody um, in the office to help them out with something. <laughs> That's helpful information. Somebody's doing something somewhere for the Lions. <laughs> and Jamie will give you details on that, maybe. Uh, well, if you're wondering about the uh, why the Seattle Seahawks game and Vikings game came so close, it, it looks like the Vikings um, forgot laces out. Uh, apparently the, uh, the extra point kick or something, they went for it and... 
Uh, the quarterback put the ball down with the laces in. Which... In their defense, wasn't this the super cold, like, six below zero game they were playing today? Yeah, it was cold today, yeah. So they probably all had brain freeze at some point. Yep. <laughs> um, the Lions hire Ernie Ark saw a senior advisor. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yep. Six uh, Sunday. It's way back. Uh, rumors are uh, that uh, Rebby Hardy, uh, Matt Hardy's wife, could be coming to TNA. I'm kind of, um, I'm a little, well, I'm excited and kind of disappointed at the same time, but um, TNA Wrestling's losing one of their great tag teams that they have. The um, Wolves apparently have signed with uh, NXT, which I'm actually glad it's NXT and not one, like the main roster because I feel in NXT they'll still be able to do some of their stuff anyway. Oh, apparently one of the uh, Red Wings prospects uh plays for the grand rapid griffins suffered a seizure during the game uh he's okay now though doesn't say who though i gotta say i did watch um the debut of uh tna on pop this week and i gotta tell you it was actually a pretty good uh tna impact on there so um as long as i got pop i'm gonna go ahead and set set it up on my DVR and record it so I can watch it later. I won't necessarily watch it live, but it actually wasn't a bad viewing of uh, some wrestling this week. So uh, The Chicago Bears' Adam Gase is close to deal to become the Miami Dolphins head coach. Um, yesterday, uh, the Eagles <clears throat> were asked permission to interview former New York Giants coach Tom Coughlin uh, the reason they had to ask for permission was because Tom Coughlin still has another year on his contract with the Giants. So they have to ask for um, permission. Makes sense. Uh, the San Diego Chargers announced a one-year extension for head coach Mike McCoy. All right, that's good, Rose. Yeah, we got enough. It's the recap show. <laughs> I know. I'll keep going. I'll keep going all we night long. So much. We got to tease them for the week ahead. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, it's the recap show. We are finished. You guys have a great start to your school week, work week, and we will join you again real soon. Right back here on the frenzy. Be blessed. I'm the coach, and I'm Jamie. Go Blue! Go blue.